Hello there and welcome back to the Norse Empire of Egypt, Africa, the Mediterranean and of course India. We are invading more into Ceylon here or Sri Lanka and then hopefully once we got the tree still here uh, you will still be alive reaching your 80s you'll be able to go to war with this uh, individual over here and this individual. We do have the men to take on both. Hopefully this stays on into the next characters as well. But uh, we don't know for sure. Also, uh, when we get the money, we should upgrade these guys. But I, I haven't seen the effects of it doing better. And anyway, let's uh, just go with our sieges here. Let's have a look as well. Succession. Only one title loss, and that is the uh, Kingdom of Crete. So we'll just leave him to that. Oh, there is an army coming. So we're going to send a reinforcement up there to deal with that. Here's a very close one. Oh, no, they've got reinforcements coming in. Okay, okay, okay. How many guys can you spare? Not enough. We're going to be uh, leaving behind whoever we can, getting this army over here ready to uh, counter these chaps. Hopefully we don't lose too much there. We lost 2,000 men, and our commander got captured. Ha. Huh. Yeah, that's not a great start. We're going to have to do a big bit of damage here, but they were all, of course, levies. That is one of the risks of leaving everyone uh, spread out like this. But our army is going to come together and we are going to uh, put put it down on these guys. Excellent. 8,000 stack. Let's stop them from charging then go and attack them here instead. Beautiful, beautiful. Hopefully we'll kill more than 2,000 to put the numbers back into our favour. Uh, know myself close to the end. Oh no, I will be dead within a year. I can feel it in my very bones. He will hell will come for me soon. Like an old friend, she is patiently waiting to receive me. That's a shame. It's a real shame that we are going to die. But it's nice to have a heads up. There's nothing I can do to fix it. Uh, it's just a real shame. But we did make it to our late 70s though, so we can't complain really, can we? Gained so much prestige with his character too. Excellent, that's a grand battle for us to be winning. Let's march these guys back as well. And what we'll do is we'll leave the main stack of men somewhere in the middle so we can march off to reinforce our forces when we so require. You guys are going to hopefully skip their army as well. Good, that one was worth a lot of war score. 51 killed there in this other battle. We only killed 1,500. Seriously, that's not good enough. Oh no, Ragnar Haraldsson, my son, has died. He did not deserve that. Magnus, are you going to be the heir to Crete now? Is that how this works? No, it's uh, Count Halder, who does still have Freya Hall. He'll be the heir to there. Okay, let's move these guys over this way as well. Let's actually split this in half. No, 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 let's not. Let's just move you guys over there as well. Have a bigger stack on the uh, on the button. And I want to keep this uh, big army around nice and close so we can counter their force if they ever do come. Prisons can be ransomed. I'm going to lose all this debt when I die anyway, so we'll just keep it for now. Good. Good, we've taken this capital, but it's still only 50 odd percent. I don't want to risk leaving this place to be re-sieged though, so we might just leave it how it is. Converted literature. My lord! My risks goody. Einar approaches me with urgency. A local merchant has a copy of the... Bah, we just... Uh, our final act as life is to gain one more bit of learning. Of course. Let's uh, put that in there. So we can die with an extra bit of stat. Svorka. 19 now. Oh, I don't want to die. I really don't. But what can a man do? He is incredibly old. Inbred. Oh, great. That's a terrific treat, trait to have. I've never actually had any character with the inbred trait. Not in this campaign. Let's get this army together and split it in half. Get these uh, guys going over there. Not losing so much supply, I think. Uh, am I going to die before this? Oh, we do actually have the uh, Onigas, don't we? Yes, we do. Let's uh, split off a new army of the Onigas. We'll send them over to there. As for you guys, though, we're going to go and have a bit of a battle. Hopefully, I will live to see the results. 
and not have my son be the... Oh, shit. How did he pull that off? You wanker. That's, uh, that's really cheeky. That's really cheeky. I'm not a fan of that at all. He just sprouted these men out of nowhere and took out my onagers. I am not a fan. Let's move you over there instead and raise them up again. Do you know, no, do they not get a chance to come up and say hello? No, we will have a grand battle over here and a victory, no doubt. 100% war score. We have captured the guy. Good. Our king, our emperor, does see the end of this war. And he does gain some good lands out of it. Let's uh, disband all of our forces and give this to... Uh, how about your son and heir, Zvorka? We could grant him both of these provinces. In fact, we could just do all three because we are going to inherit all the other land with it. Yeah. Count Zvorka, you may be the lord of this land. That was a big levied building, though. So it's not ideal, but when we die, we could just declare war straight upon them again for the rest of the duchy here, since we are not going to have a truce anymore. Is there anything I can do at all before I die? I, I don't think so. We just uh, try and get ourselves out of debt. Really? I'm not going to ransom all these prisoners to get out of debt. I'm not going to do it. But then it said I should have died a while ago. No, I'm still 78. Is it still thing I'm going to die within a year? I don't see anything here telling me I'm about to die. I don't know. I don't know what's up. Ah, yes, well there we are. Emperor Harold uh, of Empire of the Norse has abandoned his mortal coil at 78 years of age. He died of unknown causes. A renowned herbalist, it was said he that he could cure all elements with the right concoction. Emperor Henry ascends to the throne, well-spoken and outgoing. Many expect Henry to have no problem charming the court to his side. 69 years he was in charge since his ninth year. He had a lot of things. Living legend, paragon of virtue. He fought in 31 wars. Two defensive great holy wars, nine defensive wars and 20 offensive wars. Henry, 56. He might not last too long, but we will continue as Emperor Henry here. He has a wife. We should uh, pause the game and get her to manage to make She's already doing it. Okay, great. Let's get our cancel up then. Whomever is top of the uh, most highly ranked individuals. And let's get rid of some of this land. So my son is ruling over there. I have four provinces over here. And they are very strong. So we're going to keep these four. Four. Are you not mine anymore? No, Magnus is actually taking that over. Okay, Magnus. And then what we've got over here is all of this land. Okay, we're going to have to give away some of this. Since we are moving to India now. Prince George. We're going to grant you... Uh, which of you two is best? So I think I can only keep two of you. Sunderheim and... Oh, there's Cairo and Giza. Cairo and Giza. Alright, boy. I'm going to grant you Varrock. And uh, Sanderheim. That's got me down to 7. Okay, great. So we are still quite powerful. 9,000 levy. Not too bad. And we're going to get a lot of uh, cash injection through these um, prisoner ransoms. Wait, what do you mean I can't do it? Also, where's my brother? The King of Crete. No, that's not my brother. It's my uh, other relatives. There's two kings right here. Right next to each other. Both are nowhere near the islands they are supposedly kings of. Of course. Thank you for the border gore game. Marshall focus. He's getting through it. We could keep trying to do this. Dread gain, martial gain, control growth. I like the idea of control growth, actually. I doubt he'll live long enough to get all of that sorted out. Uh, what do we got going on with this, then? So I want to get that. We need 4,000 for it. And we'll go for something that affects our health. Herculean, perhaps? 50 gold, thank you. Oh, they all from the same area? Too many held duchies as well. Cairo Anarata. Oh, I've got a duchy over here, have I? Oh, let's pick a guy then, shall we? Not you. Uh, 48, he's got children. Not so old. Okay, looks like it's going to be you. Good grant you. It's not that one. 
and Arta. Good man. Can't say I've got too many more, can they? So where would be the capital? Like, this could be the capital of India. Or it could be down in this way, because this is very, very strong land. I'm not sure. Either way, let's uh, try and fix our books for a bit. I can use up uh, Gujaran, actually. Um, prisons can be ransomed. Shame they're all from the same guy, though. It's going to take me a while. Also, my heir is unmarried. Let's try and see if we can find him a wife. Also, if we can make him a duke. Let's sort by prestige gain, perhaps. We want... Not dynasty. We want culture, Norse, religion, Asatru. No, let's sort by age instead. Try and find someone a bit... Ooh, that's that's no good. Oh, I'm looking for infertile, of course. Let's look for fertile instead. And try and find somebody... Uh, somebody quite, quite good. He is himself... How old? 19. So somebody around here. we got a beauty here. She's a low-born beauty. Otherwise, we got uh, one of my nieces. Can you recruit? You're pretty or handsome. Uh, 19, but not low-born. It might have to be you then. Yeah, send a proposal. I don't marry into a low-born, do I? Excellent, my son and heir is now married. Hopefully he only goes on to have one son. Uh, succession. Lots of titles lost in succession. There is uh, all of that. Asia Karohala. Yes, yeah, so this son here is in line to take over the rest of these Egyptian lands. Leaving us just with Giza, which isn't actually that strong. We might end up leaving Egypt behind and focusing purely on India. And uh, to start that off, we could just go to war with you straight away. You got any friends that I care about as a truce? Uh, not really. Okay, okay, okay. You there, I bet you're sick to death of us, aren't you? Yes. Or we're going to declare war on you to take another kingdom. Although, am I exalted among men? No. If I get exalted among men, I could probably declare war for an entire kingdom over here later on. But let's go to uh, finish off this island first. We already have the army here ready, near enough. We'll wait the three months to have everybody risen up, and then we'll uh, split them in half to take over both of these areas. How are we doing here? We're doing quite good. Secret exposed. Who would have known? Although, uh, what I could do later on is I could get rid of one of these light infantry and just switch them over for something more like uh, horses or heavy infantry. Not in a rush for anything like that, though. Prisons can be ransomed again. 25 gold. Oh, are they all to this guy? I think they are. So we should ransom them back before we uh, start sitting outside of his castle trying to get him again. Let's just split you straight in half. Can I press the button correctly? Thank you. Let's send you guys over there and let's send you guys over here. And just go through both of the sieges, really. Also, you get our money back from this, uh, this gentleman here. Not our money back. We'll get money is what I'm trying to say here. Oh, 100 gold. Should have gone with you first. He can't afford the last one. Yes, he can. 25. Thank you. Injured vassal. That's uh, that's no good. It's a shame. It's terrible. A terrible thing has happened. Anybody we can call in here? A dynasty member? Yeah, it should take her a, a year to get her. More than a year. It took her several years to get over here, but we can still do that. I don't know why this place won't stop being highlighted. I don't understand. It's just always highlighted. No, they're actually going up that way. If we did move our ca uh, capital to India, I think this might be the best area because this guy is already very strong. But then uh, the lands I hold are, again, very strong. Unlock a new perk for the martial lifestyle. Well, don't mind if I do. Absolute control sounds about good. Sounds about good indeed. So just sieging out these two areas and then... Maybe it's just sitting here. I'm not sure. Did I take his family members again? I did. That's perfect. What a dumb guy. Didn't get as many this time, but we did get a fair few, so... We'll take that money. You are the guys with the siege equipment. Why are you taking so long? Come on, chaps, let's have it. I want it done. Then what we can do is go up and kill his army. No, is they're sailing. Okay, hopefully it'll sail over to us. This is the uh, war goal. 
So hopefully this is where they will come to. After all my lectures and all of my shared wisdom, my daughter Alexandra has finally embraced the true faith. I always knew she would make a good little Asa true girl one day. Why was my daughter not? She's Greek. Oh, these are bastards, aren't they? Yes, yeah, so my well, my son is a Satru and Norse. You are Satru and Norse, and then there's you are Satru and Norse. Good, good. Now, hopefully, uh, taking care of these guys will uh, get us our one hundred percent once more. Well, they're only at three percent now. They are landing now, so we'll go over and fight them once we win our siege here. In a few days. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I am leading the army, of course, because I am the main man. Let, let's let's try and chase these guys down. Ignore those chaps. We want to get these guys before they sail away. This is the army we need to fight and beat. Good, we will catch them. Perfect. Let's get straight to it. A beautiful slaughter, if ever there was one. We actually took him hostage as well. Perfect. This island is now ours. Now, what else can my son hold? He's probably not limited to just free, is he? I don't see his limit, though, so we're going to grant him both of these things. He's not in line to inherit. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Oh, let's, let's take... Who are you? Where are you in charge of? You're in charge of over here. And there's you. What if I granted you a duchy down here as well? I want both of these sons to be dukes. I think that is what gets them out of the line of succession, is if they're dukes. Oh, he's gonna, she's going to give me 10 gold. And he's going to give me another 30. Okay, so let's create a duchy. Duchess in Hala. Or there's a duchy down here. Well, let's create this guy's one first, so we can get him uh, maybe out of succession. Create a title. You, my boy, we're going to grant you the Duchy of Ranhu. Good man, let's also disband our army. Now, does that get him out of the line of succession at all? Yes, now it's only Prince George who's going to screw us about. So I shouldn't have given him land down here, I should have just made him a duke somewhere else. The Duchy of Al Cid is actually down that way, though, and I could create it if I had the gold. Create Al Cid, give that to him in Varrock. It's a shame he also holds this. Yeah, I think I just have to make him dukes. A shame I was unaware. But this money won't take too long to come by. We could always go and raid for it real quick. Ah, it's just an animal. So, lots more of India to take. I want it, I want it all. Exalted in my men as well. I think that uh, raiding does give me prestige. And of course, we are a new ruler, so it's time to do our generational fuck the Pope. Let's go and raid this asshole. We need to we need to screw with him. Also, promote culture, we should be sending you down to uh, India. Try and get a bit of this more converted. No, we can leave all these guys, actually. And let's instead move you down this way. This is a very powerful area. I want to occupy the entire island with Norsemen. Yes, I do. George comes of age. Well done, George. You grew up so fast. Yes, you did. Now I'm going to get some money and make you a Grand Lord. A very, very Grand Lord. Where are these men at? Come on, let's get these chaps together. Ah, it's the Indian forces, of course. They take a little bit longer. Perfect. Raiding 50, 28. Now let's just go straight over here and take out some real money. We'll do a bit of a raiding through here and then we'll uh, end off the episode. Well, so the game's moving a lot slower now that I'm uh, such a big empire. Good to see, good to see. Oh wow, it's only like three days. Fire and blood. Seven of Orvieto is an important stronghold in Greater Orvieto, and it has fallen to my raiders. We have the run of vast tracts of land, and many of the quivering subjects are shining treasures to choose from. Bring me bounteous plunder. Yeah! Bring me the bounteous plunder. There's not so much money over that way. We'll go over to here, though. Spoleto is worth a fair bit, then we'll come back down along the mountain pass. Oh, that's real fast. 
Yeah, I'm a huge fan of this. A huge fan. Not so much those guys dying so needlessly, but they're only levies. Not all of them. There's probably some decent troops there. But it's mostly levies. So let's not worry too much. We'll come back with a lot of money, make some uh, titles for our boys, and then hopefully the succession will be safe. Yep, bring me some more, would you? Shame I can't just uh, kidnap the Pope straight up. That would be a uh, fun way of doing it. Yes, yeah, not even a month to take out uh, his own land there. Perfect. I should invade for this land at some point, but it's not the uh, the main goal just yet. Perfect. We could still take more money, but let's let's get this home. Well, if we're going to land, we can land here and take their extra 50 gold. Take 50 gold and just march over. I mean, how fast that was is not exactly out of our way, is it? 994 gold. Beautiful. Now let's make a uh, duchy for my boy, the duchy of uh, this right here. Very good. Al Saad, they call it. Well, we're going to rename it. Grant him. Uh, where is it? Yalom of Al Saad. Perfect. Let's rename it from Al Saad, though. We don't want it to be called Al Saad. We name the Yaldum of. Uh, Let's name it after after our main man, Henry Sen. Henry Heim. No, he wasn't. He was Harold. Uh, Harold Heim. Very good. The Harolder. Excellent. So he's now a duke. Does that get him out of succession at all? No, we still do lose lands to him. The Yaldum of that counties in India. Why? Just deal with your lot, boy. Unless I uh, had to wait a bit longer. Nope, he still wants to take all of our counties over in India here. Well, if I know I'm dying, I could uh, give them away. But that's not exactly how I want to be uh, pulling this one. Anyway, that will do for this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you are enjoying the content here. I am enjoying bringing it to you. When you come back, we are... This guy still isn't dead. I was hoping he'd be dead so we can invade in there. But no, let's... Let's go after you for this duchy. And then hopefully we'll get exalted among men and then we can attack for a kingdom somewhere. I'm not sure which kingdom would be the one. Let's have a look. Oh, you, your entire kingdom would be very grand. Or there is you and your entire... Okay, I think this one would be the one to go for. Because that would really tidy up the border, especially if we're taking gnats. But we have to become exalted among men first. Now, I'll do for this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you are enjoying the content. Remember to subscribe. Subscribe if you are not already. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you again. Goodbye.